Hello and uh, welcome to the Self Built uh, Campervan channel. For those of you that uh, don't know me, the name is uh, Tom and it's Monday the 14th of August 2017. Finished work uh, yesterday morning, a uh, couple of hours sleep, vans all loaded and uh, fridges uh, full of food. Eight hour drive uh, yesterday afternoon, um, evening and uh, headed towards uh, Edinburgh. Stopped off in a lay-by about 30 miles uh, short of Edinburgh and um, had a good night's sleep. Uh, good fry up this morning and a further three hour drive to uh, Inverness. And um, we, we're starting the, the NC500, 500, 500 miles around the north coast of Scotland. And uh, going to take it anti-clockwise so the, uh, the view, the coast is uh, out the driver's uh, window. Now... From Inverness, I've uh, I've headed round and uh, stopped off in a lay-by near uh, Dingwell for uh, for dinner, and uh, going to head a little bit further round and uh, find uh, somewhere to park up now for the for this evening, with uh, with a view of the the sea. But uh, there's been a few requests, uh, personal messages from uh, subscribers asking for uh, for photo slideshows. So uh, all my photos will be uh, going uh, into a separate video. I'll be uh, putting up a slideshow for them. But uh, hopefully we'll get plenty of good uh, video footage and uh, plenty of photos as we're uh, as we're driving around the coast. Pulled up into a lay-by and uh, I've eaten my dinner, cooked myself a chicken uh, stir-fry but um, there's actually something here and uh, I've come down to um, have a look at it but uh, it's supposed to be um, the ruins of an old village, an uh, abandoned uh, village. Not going to stay where I am parked up for the night. Uh, there's millions of midges. Absolutely horrible things. Monument of uh, some kind there. So uh, we'll go and uh, go and check this out. Be careful coming down here. It's a little bit slippery. Absolutely beautiful views, stunning views here in Scotland. Let's we'll see what it says on the on the sign. one of those uh, signs this way so we'll see what this one says So this must be um, the ruins then of the old, um, the old abandoned uh, houses.
and take a quick look over here and then uh, I'll head back to the van. Morning all, about uh, 20 past nine now. I have got a clue where I am, but uh, staying, uh, staying here with this uh, cracking view of this um, harbour. Now, I did stop off at um, another harbour, but absolutely rammed with, uh, with camper vans, and there was just nowhere to park. But a little bit further along the coast, and uh, I pulled into a little, uh, little village, and uh, found this. Didn't risk uh, parking on the harbour, but uh, this little pull-in was uh, good enough, and uh, not been uh, hassled at all. A couple of cars have come through uh, through the night and uh, gone to the harbour, but uh, looks like the tide's in, and it looks like it's going to be an absolutely beautiful day. Kettle's on, and uh, be making breakfast shortly. It's uh, 20 past 4 now and uh, been at John O'Groat since uh, 12 o'clock midday. Put a few shouts out on the radio and uh, worked two stations, one in central France and uh, one in the south of France. Rain's been uh, on and off here so I've uh, been dodging the raindrops and uh, diving in and out of the van. But uh, been out to the harbour, walked out to the end of the harbour, we took some photos, a little bit of filming and uh, seen a couple of seals, went to take a photo and uh, the battery went flat on the DSLR camera but uh, going to be um, on the radio this evening and uh, going to be working the amateur bands trying to make contact with a few friends uh, back at home I would have stayed here but uh, there's a sign up saying uh, no overnight parking but uh, not seen a sign anywhere saying uh, no overnight parking apart from here and uh, the only place I have seen that is charging for car parks was it was a Morrison's I went to um, yesterday for fuel. But apart from that, uh, not seen a meter anywhere. I'm quite surprised that um, you don't have to pay to um, visit to uh, John O'Groats, unlike Land's End, which costs uh, nearly six pounds. But uh, all in all, um, having a great time. Parked up for this evening now at uh, Gills Bay, and uh, this is the view I have: Stormer Island, and uh, there is the southern part of uh, the Orkney Islands. Abs absolutely stunning view, beautiful. Morning all. About uh, 11 o'clock now, Wednesday morning. Had my breakfast and a wash and uh, stopped off at uh, Me Castle. Uh, spelt uh, Mike Echo Yankee. It's, uh, it's along the route, about a mile from where I uh, parked up last night. Probably going to have to pay to go inside this one, but uh, shouldn't be too expensive. Have a look around the grounds and uh, take some photos. 
but uh, I'll just um, jump out the van now and uh, show you um, the castle from uh, and some of the grounds from where I'm parked and there's a spectacular view of the Orkneys this morning. There's the Orkney Islands. There's a castle there. About half past two now and uh, I'm at uh, Dunnett's Head. Been sat here now probably for about an hour and a half just enjoying the, the view. Done myself a couple of uh, sausages and a little bit of uh, chopped onion. So a nice, a nice hot dog for dinner. Had a couple of uh, cups of tea and um, we've had a little bit of uh, rain in the air. But uh, what I plan on doing now is uh, going out and um, having a quick walk around. Taking, uh, taking a few photos. And um, I'm not sure how many miles, but uh, I'm going to head towards Armadale. I'm going to um, find somewhere uh, somewhere to park up for the night uh, with a nice view. And um, I've still got still got a week to go. I'll be heading back most likely um, next uh, next Wednesday. So we're going to stop off at um, at least uh, four more places along uh, along the route, uh, parking up for the night and. Um, Possibly uh, head over towards uh, Aberdeen and uh, possibly um, have a look at uh, Fort William. But uh, definitely want to um, have a look at uh, Loch Ness on the way back. And there's a couple of other spots I want to uh, want to visit as well. But um, there'll be a little bit of music over the next clip uh, as it's uh, as it's blowing a hoolie outside, and um, all you otherwise all you hear is is the wind noise. over into a lay-by uh, not far from uh, Ballygill and uh, just show you the view I have at the moment got the Orkney Islands uh, out on the right hand side and uh, we got some pretty big uh, Scottish mountains uh, over on the left hand side which is uh, where I'm heading to
Well then folks, I'm not far from uh, Durness. I've uh, been driving for a few hours now along a, along a mountain road with uh, lots of, um, lots of uh, passing places. It's a single track road and uh, driving around a massive lock. But i um, seen a turn in and I drove past, turned around, came back, took this turn in and I've come along a track, seems to have come off road a little bit but um, I've parked up right in the middle of nowhere and uh, hopefully be left alone uh, for the night. But uh, what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll get out and uh, we'll show you the view that I've got uh, for, the, for the night and uh, what I will uh, wake up to tomorrow morning.
even know. But I passed nine here and um, got pasta and cheese for tea and a um, couple of beers. Uh, just sat here uh, relaxing, but uh, parked up on a bit of high ground. There were camper van in the, in the little lay-by I'm in, but uh, all the little lay-bys are filled up with uh, campers. And uh, I'm overlooking a lock. Beautiful sunset over the mountains this evening. But um, I've made my way all the way down along uh, the west coast and uh, down along Earl Paul and uh, a little bit further south uh, around the mountains. Beautiful views, absolutely fantastic. But uh, I'm at a place called uh, Shilding, or not far from uh, Shilding, and then tomorrow we're going to, going to um, head all the way around uh, the coast to um, Apple Cross and uh, back it back around again, and um, gonna head to um, the Isle of Skye. Gonna drive all the way around uh, Skye, so. Um, Tomorrow night I'll be um, parked up on um, Sky and uh, spend the following day going around Sky. Probably a second night parked up on Sky, and then uh, come back and uh, finish off the North Coast uh, 500. And um, I want to uh, have a look at uh, Fort William, and uh, want to have a look at uh, Loch Ness. So uh, still a couple of things on the list to do, and uh, we're still here to uh, next Wednesday. Catch you in the morning. Morning all, about uh, 20 to 10 now, and uh, absolutely wonderful night's sleep. Shame we had no uh, no internet last night. I had phone reception, but uh, no internet. I've had breakfast this morning, and um, I'm on my way to um, Apple Cross. So um, every uh, now and again, I'll, uh, I'll, pull, I'll be pulling over to take some photos, and uh, I'll show you the view that um, I'm seeing. about uh, 10 to 2 now and uh, been sat up on the Apple Cross Pass now for uh, for the last uh, couple of hours. We've had dinner up here and um, been chatting on the radio to a, to a breaker and um, I've met the guy um, up on top of the Apple Cross Pass. Uh, I've had a cup of tea and we have had a chat. Always uh, nice to um, have, have an eyeball. But uh, so you've been up here a couple of hours now and the fog moved in uh, not long after. It started to rain uh, when I got up here and um, I've not been able to take any photos or, or any uh, video footage of the area. Uh, you won't see anything because of the fog. But uh, the plan is now to um, clear up uh, the dishes, uh, pack everything away and um, I'm going to head to uh, the Isle of Skye. It's Friday afternoon now, so by the time I get there, it's, it's 44 miles, hour and 20 minutes. It's going to take uh, probably uh, more like two hours, two and a half hours to get there because of the, the mountains and the fog. But um, 
when I get there, uh, I'm going to spend the week tonight, uh, Saturday and Sunday, uh, over on the Isle of Skye. There's at least uh, three castles in the south, so uh, I'd like to visit the castles, take some photos, and maybe uh, visit uh, one of the castles. Visited uh, two castles, uh, one on the north coast of Scotland, one on the north uh, east uh, coast of Scotland. And uh, I'd missed two castles, so a bit disappointed with myself there, but um, I'm going to check out these uh, castles, uh, at least get some photos. And um, not sure whether I'm going to do that tomorrow, look at the castles. Yeah, probably look at the castles tomorrow and uh, then spend a couple of days uh, going around the island. Sunday afternoon I'll be uh, switching the radio on and hopefully um, it's a bit of a uh, short propagation and I can uh, make contact with my friends uh, back down at the other end of the country. But I've uh, been talking to uh, Donny up on the, the Isle of Lewis. Usually get him uh, with a short propagation in the summer. Um, you usually, usually speak to Donny uh, quite regularly, but uh, pleasure to work him um, ground wave. Uh, I sh should get him no problem at all from uh, from uh, Isle of Sky as uh, Isle of Lewis is the next, uh, next island up. But we'll clear up the dishes here now and um, we'll start um, Heading, heading towards um, Isle of Skye.